Hello, Gemini. This is your reading for starting mid-February 2021. New energies, positive energies, five cards spread. It'd be a quick read, okay? And I'll also be giving the mini uh, pick a card love reading at the very end of this, okay? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, February 2021, mid-February 2021. The energies start then for those belonging to the zodiac sign of Gemini. And as you know, this will not uh, resonate with everyone, okay? It will resonate with a lot of people, though. Remember, we're reading for the masses. If you see a positive energy here, use it, okay? It's an overall energy. Let's see what's coming in. The moon. Mm, maybe things you think are, things are hidden from you. Maybe it's intuition. Maybe you're uh, focusing on your intuition with the moon, okay? It's a good energy. It's a positive energy to have. Uh, the past, you were trying to gain independence, trying to gain money, okay? We'll see what that's about. It may have not occurred with a lot of you yet. If you see this card and you haven't had gain yet, focus on gain because it's there for the taking, okay? Obstacles, working hard or finding work that you want to do with the Eight of Pentacles. Current environment, well, will be the current environment, is the Five of Cups. Trying to come out of disappointment. Try to come out of people disappointing you, life disappointing you in some way. What is coming towards you? The Four of Pentacles. Uh, someone may be releasing money from the outside in. Maybe they'd be spending more money on you, okay? Ten of Wands, releasing burdens. Let's find out what that's about. I'll clarify. Doing this quickly so you get a reading. Uh, so I'll do the pick a card. We'll find out what you're releasing. But also that Nine of Pentacles, like I said there, if you see that, you go for it. Do not let anything get in your way of gaining money and independence. But let's get two cards for that. I'm using the Eighth House Tarot for that because, you know, they're very, very uh, accurate cards. I need two cards for the Nine of Pentacles for Gemini. The Moon again. You don't see clearly in a way to make the money just yet. And you're having trouble taking a leap of faith. You're having trouble believing. Don't have trouble, okay? Don't, don't, do not give up is what I'm trying to say. Eight of Pentacles. You may not be enough work out there. You may be overworking um, very hard at something. And it's like bringing very little money in. You feel like that. That could be it too. But the Eight of Pentacles, let's get two cards for that. Five of Earth, definitely working hard for the money, okay, for a lot of you. King of Fire, someone is in your life is a little short-tempered that's not exactly um, dedicated just yet. But I feel like someone is very, very uh, fiery that you're dealing with, that it may be costing you in some way. Maybe your overall stability, maybe they make you feel left out, maybe you feel like you're overworked with them. And so now you're going to be coming out of disappointment. You need to come out of disappointment. You need to go towards yourself. Two cards for the Five of Cups, please. Eight of Earth again in reverse. Come out of disappointment with something that wasn't working out for you, that was keeping you laid up at night. So you're going to come out of disappointment with that. You're going to put it from you. Things that weren't working out, that were keeping you from getting enough sleep, you know, interfering in your sleep. Money may be coming your way. People may be spending more money on you. You may be getting something in the mail. It could be for some of you. You may be giving money away yourself. But I need two cards for that. For Gemini. Queen of Earth. That's more like a stable energy. Seven of Water in reverse. So I do, I feel like someone's going to offer you more financial stability. Someone who is older and more, has more financial security themselves. They're not going to give you a whole lot of options or offers when they give you this right now, but it's going to have you or enable you to release a burden in some way, you know, come out of disappointment. So I do think some of you are going to get some money. Okay. It may not be. You know, the lottery just yet, okay? But it is something that's going to cause a lot of uh, release in your life to where you don't feel so heavy in life, you know, as a burden. So I need two cards for that. And we'll do the pick a card reading, mini pick a card reading. I'm going to focus on love. It'll give us what it wants, you know? So two cards for the Ten of Wands for Gemini. Three of Water. Yeah, you'll be able to celebrate and go out with your friends again at Ten of Earth and start saving money. 
So, yeah, I think a lot of you are going to get some money. You're going to get something that's going to help you feel better. You know, like I said, I don't think, I don't know if it's going to be the lottery. It may be for some of you, but I'm feeling like it's more like something that's going to cause uh, a lot of release in your life. Page of air. It'll be a message you will get in. It could be also your energy, getting more energy up. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, you know, and messages that are coming straight to the point and, and be very clear to you. Okay, let's get the angel. Let's talk about love with the angels. What does Gemini need to know for mid-February 2021 when it comes to love? Like I said, it gives us what it wants. This is a pick-a-card reading. Gemini, sun, moon, rising. I'm trying to shorten these beginning readings so you don't have to... You can watch other readings, so this won't take so long. I don't like readings drawn out. You can get a lot in in just a few minutes. Anything longer is a lot of talk, you know. Unless I do the full Celtic cross, I can go on anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, which I usually try to do the second part all the way around for uh, February and the second part of the month. This is from the Angel Answers for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, starting around Valentine's Day, February 2021. Pick a card reading. And the moonology that gives us advice or lets us know more what we need to know coming up. And like I said, I'm asking for love for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, February 2021. But if it's not main focus for most Geminis, it'll tell me what it wants to tell me. That's just the way the cards do. Can't force love, but when love is there, it will tell me, you know. Okay, you pick this section. Whatever you're drawn to the most will be the main energy for you, okay, the one you pick. But I do bring them all together at the end for secondary energies because a lot of times they do relate, Gemini. They really do. If you've got a he uh, family, healing family issues is at hand, and there is a peaceful resolution. So if you're having a family issue, there is a resolution coming up, and communication is the key, okay? You pick this section. Stay optimistic about your love life. There is something better coming in. There is something better coming in. So work through your fears. Don't let fears get to you. Okay? It will stay optimistic. Don't be negative, okay? Because it will get better. Something better is coming in, okay? You got someone coming in that really could be the one, but it's gonna be at perfect timing. They'll come in when they're supposed to come in, but they will come in, okay? Be bold, make the first move. Don't be like hiding away. Don't become the hermit. Um don't be too caught up in the world right now, disappointments and all. Go ahead. If you're interested in somebody and, you know, perfect time is at hand, make the first move when you know it's the right time to make the first move. If you feel like, oh, let me say hello, let me, you know, whatever, um, even make a phone call. I'd be careful of phone calls, though. But just make a bold first move, okay? That's what it's saying. And the perfect... Door in perfect timing, you know when it's going to be the right time. It'll open up for you. That door open up for someone that is could be very well the one for you. You know there are family issues that are going to be healed. There are resolutions. So you have family troubles, it will be okay. Okay, stay optimistic about your love life. You got someone coming in, or maybe they're already here. That could be really the one. But it's saying there's something better. So stay optimistic about your love life. You may have had to have you know put something away from you. And maybe something left you. Maybe something did not work out. Maybe it had to do with your family. But there is something better coming in. Perfect timing. Don't be afraid to talk to people. Don't be afraid to make the first move. I never had a problem with that. But uh, some people do. Some people say they can't do it. But I have no problem with it. Uh, communication is the key. And work through your fears. Don't let fear hold you back. Especially when it comes to healing family issues and your love life. Don't let fear hold you back. Make that bold first move. Okay, I'm going to let this go. I'll talk to you later, Gemini. Bye.